Keller Nation. I'm your host, Keller. Come stay. Let's get right into the news. For our first, first, first story we have today, today, today. No Diddy? I wonder why. Let's go ahead and start off our first story today, today, today. Uh, I'm actually going to leave some of the Diddy stuff for uh, right after this, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into some unrelated Diddler news before we get into the news. I told y'all niggas. Ain't I tell y'all niggas? I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas. Ain't I tell y'all? Cause I told y'all niggas. But blue raya. But but at the time you just you just you just I just told y'all niggas, bro. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. This the, the one fucking the pretty shit, my nigga. Hold on. That's not the shit that we're looking at, nigga. This is the shit that we're looking at. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And I tell y'all niggas, cause I told y'all niggas, bro. I told y'all niggas, bro. Woo! And I tell y'all niggas, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, you can tell everybody. Oh, you can tell everybody. Go ahead and tell everybody. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Oh, you now, personally, I'm good off this, bro. But I told y'all niggas. I don't remember. I'll forget. I, I, I'll never forget the exact. Like, I remember all y'all niggas' names. Who is like, yo, Drewski is deep dick and Ruby Rose. Uh, Drewski and, and Ruby Rose guns. Da 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 Told y'all niggas, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So if you can't read, you know what I'm saying? You don't care about it? I don't. It's just good to show y'all that y'all was wrong. You know what I'm saying? And some of y'all will never admit y'all was wrong, but it's in 4K right here, my nigga. It's just good. I don't give a fuck. W5 but it's just, it's, uh, it feels really, really good to just be like, damn, these niggas is wrong as fuck. I ain't gonna catch to you, bro. So this says, Ruby Rose exposes she never slept with Drewski. Nigga paid for PR, not the Top five pussy. things to do in Wyoming. Mmm. Talk about it. Talk about it. Let's see. Um... And for the record, I never slept with that man. Nigga paid for PR, not the pussy. He's funny and nice, though. I only give it up if I'm in love. I don't care how much money a nigga got. I'm rich as fuck, though, bruh. Yo, but on some real shit, on some all meme shit uh, aside, why did she do this to this nigga, bro? Like, you would have thought that bro said something or exposed her for something. or Like, she just said this for absolutely no reason. Like, why did she... Uh, expose this motherfucker. Oh, and by the way, ain't I tell y'all niggas? Cause I told y'all niggas. It may not mean nothing to y'all, but I understand nothing was done to me, so I don't plan on stopping it all. Oh, y'all niggas, that's kind of tough, though, bro. That's kind of tough, bro. Regardless. Um, I still think this is wrong of her to do. You know what I'm saying? The Drewski. I'm gonna keep it honest with you. I'm gonna keep it honest with you. But cake, thank you for that sub, bro. Thank you for that motherfucking King Party sub, dropped the music video you, for all red. Um, the visualizer. Uh, tight shit. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our next story, though. Interesting story. I don't know why she did that to that nigga, but hey. For our next, next, next story. Today, today, today. Um, let's see what else, bro. A lot of this is Diddy related, but we have to wait for before we get into the Diddy uh, stories, bro. 11-year-old Florida boy arrested after allegedly bragging about school kill list. Authority sees airsoft gun, knives, and swords. Bro had swords, my nigga. Bro had motherfucking guns with paws on them, bro. And bro had clips with paws on them. An 11-year-old boy. We're cooked as a country. We're cooked. He, bro has, where did he get all this from? Is that an SMG? Where did this nigga get a, a submachine gun from? Where are he selling this? Who is selling it to this nigga, bro? Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. Arrest the whole family, bro. There's no way that bro got this many ammunition and was about to go ahead and do all this and bro had to kill this at this age, bro. How did he get access to this? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I don't know. But yeah, we are cooked. I ain't gonna lie. As, as a society, we, we might be cooked. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Next thing y'all gonna see a four-year-old doing it, bro. I don't know, bro. 
I don't know, bro. Uh, and of course it's in Florida. Of course it's in Florida, bro. For our next, next, next story today, today, today. Brittany Renner says her new lifestyle has her broke. I have no idea how I'm gonna provide for my son. If you don't know, Brittany Renner is a bop who was showing ass on Instagram and has cheated on multiple NBA stars, but now has, uh, you know, found religion. You know what I'm saying? So now she says that she is broke and she has no idea how to provide for her son because she's not doing OnlyFans no more. You know what I'm saying? Um, who? I'm not gonna lie, my nigga. If y'all knew her uh, lore, bruh, y'all be disgusted, my nigga. I'm gonna keep it in stack with you, bruh. I'm gonna keep it in stack. Bruh, chat, essentially, my nigga, she will go to different NBA stars, get herself pregnant by them, get the child, bruh, and then leave the NBA star, bruh. She did it at least twice, my nigga. She did it at least twice. PJ Washington is still crying to this day, my nigga. She did it at least twice, my nigga. So, I mean, I don't feel bad for her. I'm gonna keep it in stack with you, my nigga. I don't feel bad for her. I ain't gonna lie, bruh. Um, for our next, next, next story, today, today, today um what do we have next bro for our next story today 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 tito jackson brother michael jackson has passed away rp tito bro rp tito bro you know what i'm saying see any jackson pass away bro is always a tough ass situation bro i ain't gonna capture you bro um for our next story today 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 the michigan police department took a mugshot of one of his dogs after allegedly ate the officer's lunch uh, just a, a, a quick little funny story chat. He is not serving life in prison. He is actually serving uh, the death penalty. So shout out to bro. Hopefully he's good and everything like that. But to be honest, my nigga, I have no idea, bro. For our next, next, next story today, today, today. Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul are coming out with a Lunchables uh, competitor called Lunch League. You know what I'm saying? It's going to have Prime, a Feastables chocolate bar, and then like whatever the fuck else they got in there, bro. Now... I'm not gonna cap. This is having mixed reviews and shit like that, bro. We even even yesterday, bro. I was looking at the timeline, my nigga, and I saw Dan TDM was talking about this shit. Dan TDM said, "What happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say not anything uh, anymore. I cannot say anything no more. Uh, this is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know any better. To trust the people who are selling it to them, do better." So do y'all fuck with this concept, bro? Do you feel like these motherfuckers is just, you know what I'm saying, making anything now, bro? Y'all let me know, bro. Y'all let me know, bro. Uh, I ain't gonna capture you, bro. Box cover look nice. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. But realistically, bro, chocolate bar for kids, them niggas gonna get hooked on that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's about to be GG's for a lot of kids. I ain't gonna capture you, bro. For our next, next, next story today, today, today. The streamer Asmund Gold is under fire for saying you're not too good for Taco Bell, saying that he would take his date for Taco Bell. Chat, let me know where you would take your first date um, and shit like that. I would personally take my first date to McDonald's. That's just me, my nigga. Um, I... I sure thought you'd see this coming, huh? They fucked this motherfucker up, bro. They gave that motherfucker the freezer final form, bro. This motherfucker so cooked. Even bro right here knows it's too late, bro. And, and buddy right here don't even got the heart to look at him, bro. I don't know if he knows, bro. I don't know if he knows, bro. But somebody has to tell this nigga, bro. One Windex or wet white, bro. This motherfucker gonna be seeing blurs, bro. Somebody gotta let this nigga know, bro. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if he knows or not, or this was on purpose. This was satire or whatever the case may be. But bro, somebody has to let that nigga know, bro. I might want to capture you, bro. Um, in other Twitch news, a Twitch streamer named Arda had completed a three k kilometer ultra marathon from Berlin to New York City, my nigga. Now I might want to capture you, chat. Nobody has explained to me yet. I haven't seen the, the video or anything like that. But nigga, how the fuck? This nigga can walk on water? This nigga is, it, it has a uh, transversal emo, my nigga? How did he do this? That's the only thing I'm confused on. Nobody's explained it to me yet, my nigga. I don't know, I don't know how, he, how he did this or, or, or what the fuck happened. B but hey, shout out to this nigga, bro. Somebody has not explained how this nigga was able to traverse all the way from Berlin to motherfucking uh, New York City by foot. I don't know, bro, but maybe, maybe, bro, he took a different route. What route he took? Route 109, my nigga? What, what did he do, my nigga? I don't know, bro. You fly. I ain't going to capture you, bro. For our next, next, next story, today, today, today. 
a man called the cops on Kai Sinat for streaming in Walmart. Chad, imagine y'all just minding y'all business recording in Walmart and then a motherfucking nigga snitches on you, bro, and then you get the police called on you, my nigga. This is kind of what happened right here. Let's go ahead and see this video, bro. Y'all, yeah, you want? Oh, my fault. Have, have y'all been told to put the camera down? Whoa, 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 don't put the camera on me. Have y'all been told not to do But don't touch nobody's camera though. Don't touch nobody's camera. Don't touch my camera though. What the fuck is you talking about? Don't touch my camera. It's my property. It's my property. Don't touch my camera. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? Y'all been told to get out the show. What the fuck wrong with this nigga, bro? Who is hell? Yes, I am. Absolutely. You are managing. I am. Watch out. Watch out. We checking out. That's fine. Like, nigga talking about something, he, he work here, he's the manager. I don't know if he's he security. He might be undercover security, my nigga. But Walmart, is it this deep, bro? That y'all need motherfuckers and snapbacks and red shirts and sweatpants to be security, my nigga? And by the way, I know motherfuckers gonna be like, oh, um, motherfucking goddamn, um, oh, like, it's a private property and shit like that. Like, you're not supposed to record in Walmart. Nigga, I'm not gonna cap to you, bro. Ain't nowhere on Walmart sign says you can't record in Walmart, my nigga. Like, they ain't, bro, I'm not gonna cap to you, bro. I know niggas who have recorded some crazy shit in Walmart, bro, without any repercussions, my nigga. Like, niggas have recorded. Have, think about how many uh, recordings you've seen in Walmart, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We checking out. Why are you pressing us if you work here? Bro, they, we see, checking they out. told y'all plenty of time to go. Okay. Hey, we just checking out. Yeah, I'm, I just seen them. I'm checking out their stuff. I'm just paying for everybody's okay. stuff. I'm not doing no pranks. I'm not doing nothing. Bro, why are you filming in Walmart? I'm just filming because I'm just filming my grocery shop. That's it. Bro, but yeah, they informed me not to film, so now I'm leaving. That's it. I'm checking out and I'm leaving. Barber, barber, I'm getting told you are being hostile. We're not. No, How have you been hostile with anybody? Nobody. Nigga lying. Um, nigga told about something he being hostile, bro. Thank you for that dollar, uh, BBC 3J. Look at the camera. Everything on hostile. Everything recorded. He look like he don't even work here. Like, this nigga don't even work here. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, my bad. 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 Oh,
When the internet said Red Lobster's going away, the boy Flavor Flav said, not today. Now, if you don't know who Flavor Flav is, bro, this is Flavor Flav. How many y'all follow Red Lobster? Red Lobster, cool. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, Flavor Flav right here. He might be part cockroach. You know what I'm saying? Um, but shout out to Flavor Flav. That nigga saved a uh, motherfucking goddamn... Um, Red Lobster. Now they need to take Red anything down. They need to take motherfucking Red Robins down. Who the fuck eats that Red Robin? Red Lobster's is here, boy, and they got two flavors. Oh, I care about the biscuits. Like flavor, Chat, are the biscuits flavor. overhyped? I've had the biscuits before. What do y'all think? The biscuits overhyped? Butter. Getting a most bonafide comeback yet? The comeback you'll be coming back for. It's Crab Fest good, and Red Lobster, like boy. Good. When you gotta have seafood. You these biscuits are definitely better than motherfucking Popeye's biscuits, bro. It's, it's not even close, bro. It's not even close. Like, I, like I could eat one of these joints, bro. No bad, bro. No bad, bro. That shit looks good as fuck. It's, it, the biscuits is, is definitely solid, bro. I don't think niggas be acting like the best thing in the world. Uh, But I, I fuck with it. I fuck with it heavy, bro. I ain't going to cat to you, though, bro. So, uh, shout out to all y'all niggas who fucking with Red Lobster, bro. Because the shit is coming. Well, they didn't leave technically, but it was about to leave. I ain't going to cat to you, my nigga. I, I ain't going to hold you, bro. All right, chat. Let's go ahead and talk about the weather and traffic today, bro. Uh, the weather and traffic today, chat. I ain't gonna catch you. It is raining. Baby oil. It is raining a thousand percent. Baby oil. You know what I'm saying? And on I 143 Parkway right now, there's a slip and slide baby oil on traffic. So if you go on I 100. And, oh, you got a lot of fuck. Okay, if you didn't hear me, it's raining baby oil. On I-143 Parkway, bro, currently it is raining baby oil right now, making a slip and slide on I-143 Parkway, causing a whole bunch of spinning, loss of traction, uh, loss of life, motherfucking slipping off the road, P. Diddy over there slipping and sliding in the motherfucking road, bro, butt-ass naked, bro. So this shit is actually insane, I'm just letting y'all know, bro, this shit is actually crazy out there, bro. Uh, so y'all be safe out there, bro, don't get covered in baby oil, bro. Um, and that's all from me, I'm Keller Cump saying signing out. Y'all have a great y'all night, man. The Diddy shit will be talked about in 30 seconds.